Welcome back to the RSC Season 8, Week 4. Back at it again for another minor game. And uh, I'm joined by someone. He, he's known for being FA. He's on the stream. It's Ginge. Hello, lad. And uh, I'm also joined by someone who's uh, known to be a Tory. But anyway, let's uh, see who we're playing tonight. So tonight we have Safari versus Yorubu. Safari coming in at number two and Yorubu number six. What can you tell me about this game tonight? Well, it's going to be a, a very interesting matchup. Um, Yoru Yoruba, uh, from what I've seen, not having the best record coming into this, only winning one out of their five previous games. Uh, Safari, on the other hand, winning three of those. Um, uh, they they were against kind of quite low down teams, but but still decent results. But they do uh, they have made a, a big roster change, Ginge. Yeah, obviously, cutting Vax is a very big thing. I didn't expect it myself, but we'll have to see how it plays out tonight against Yorubu here. But uh, if, any predictions for tonight? Um, I would definitely say Safari's going to take it, but it's just kind of how they do so, whether it'll be a 3-1 or 4-0. I don't really expect it to be a 4-0, uh, but definitely looking at a 3-1 for uh, Safari here. Three ones to Safari, okay. You know, obviously the cutting of Vax and replacing it with Javier or Fancy is going to be very interesting. Obviously, Fancy coming off from the Fort Templars minor team. I have to see how Anshlo, Carlos and Javier play tonight, but it will be have to rely on how Yorubi will play their roster tonight. Absolutely, but we might as well briefly go through the team stats if we're looking at Safari. Uh, sitting on 116 saves. Now, that's a lot of saves compared to uh, Yoruba, only sitting on 90. Um, as well, the goals for um, Safari as, uh, as well, they've got a lot more as well. But, you know, they, they've had a lot of wins, so that would kind of explain it. But Safari definitely being a strong team. Yoruba sitting at sixth, kind of the bottom of that uh, play-ins area. So they are going to be looking to rise and... Um, yeah, I'm ready to get into it uh, whenever you are, Ginch. Yeah, I'm, I'm very interested to see how this game's going to start. Obviously, you did say it was, you're predicting a 3-1 for Safari here. But obviously, you, looking at those stats, it is predictable why you would see those wins. I'm shocked you didn't go for a 4-0, seeing as the uh, big 4-positioned four, four gap here. Yeah, but looking at the players, you do have to mention... Um, a no no here on 46 uh, saves for Yoru Yoruba. Uh, insane stat, as well as pulse for them on 24 goals out of 23 games. Um, uh, magical stuff from him. But then Carlos from Safari is, is a player we, we definitely need to be um, watching out for. Out of his 24 games, he has 24 goals and 45 saves. So it's definitely going to be a battle of the defenses here uh, with. You know, Carlos and Nono uh, 77 on these insanely high saves, just seeing, you know, which defense is going to crack first. Um, and Carlos, although he's saving a lot, he's also scoring a lot. So he's kind of that all round carry of the team. So it's just like, is he going to be able to save everything and score a lot of goals um, in this series in order for them to win? Yeah. Ah, uh, I think we should straight get straight into this match. Don't you think? As all players are in the lobby, but uh, let's get into it. Absolutely, yeah. We've we've been waiting for long enough. Uh, players are all in the lobby, ready and raring to go. Um, and yeah, I'm definitely gonna have my eyes on Javier. This new signing for Safari. Uh, he's been a little bit of a super sub at the moment um, in the minor tier, just, just going around uh, temp FA subbing for a lot of teams, uh, playing on stream quite a lot. Um, and yeah, we'll have to see how he performs today. Yeah, definitely. Another player I'd like to highlight would definitely be Pulse for the Yorubu side. You know, having those 24 goals, you know, it's at least one goal a game with this 23 games served. But uh, 20 saves as well, you know, can't really compare to Nono's 46, but... Uh, this game is going to get underway, and let's get into it. Let's get into it already. Is Safari already on the front foot, going for a 50. Carlos diving in as well as shot, coming in, hitting, uh, just going a little bit wide. And Kaf going to be dribbling this one down, almost gets a little bit of a freebie given away, but Carlos here with the clip of Pusa, the only one sitting back, defending Javier. 
with a drop down into Angelo, who's going to take it around a player. And Javier now taking this into the corner, taking it round a player, but no boost to work with. He's going to find it mid. Angelo is there, but he can't find the shot. And Safari at the moment, Ginge, really coming out fighting. Really coming out fighting as we do see Angelo with a really nice pop into the goal. We're not going to be able to see Yoru save that one. But Angela with a really nice pop into the back of the net. Fakusa not going to be able to find the save. Yeah, he couldn't quite get round that one and clear it away. Only 40 seconds in now. And the goal for Safari already being scored. And it's just looks a little bit dominant. The, the pressure again. Carlos rattling the post. But unfortunately, it just goes wide. And Kath now going to hit this one down into the corner. Pulse can't quite find it on target, can't find the shot on goal, but Kaff again putting pressure on and it's it's very back and forth at the moment. It started off very, very good for Safari, then putting a lot of pressure on and, and it kind of reversed there for a bit, just Garuba putting all the pressure on us. Pulse is going to get the clear into the corner. Angelo can't find the touch and two Yoruba players here just waiting for the clear, but it's going to go around and Angelo dropping it down to Javier. Carlos can't quite find the touch there, but a little bit of an overcommit. The goal was open there for a second, but nothing could be found at the moment, Jim. Yeah, nothing to be found. And Ducey Pulse trying to go for the arrow. Lands into the hand of Javier, but Ducey now dropping it for Kath. He goes to the short opportunity, but saved by Carlos. It's another save for his position. Now we see Kapusa trying to find it mid. Angelo with a massive clear now. Pulls in the hands of Javier with a lovely backwards flick, falling it into the back of the net once again. Wow, what a lovely shot. Javier just taking it over the last defender. What an insane outplay there. Just kind of backwards mustying that one into the top shelf. Um, and yeah, the, the Yoruba defense there was very, very lacking. Just just one man sitting kind of in a 2v1, 1v1 scenario back in the defense. And Safari is definitely looking dominant at the moment. Two players up here from Yoruba. A little bit of a team bump as well, but... Nothing will be found from that Angelo with the clear into um, one of the Yoruba players. Again, the shot comes in wide. Kath finding the backboard. No one is there, but no one there to capitalize from the Yoruba side. Pulse again. I think this one mid to Kath. Kath going to take it around the last defender. And we have the first one on the board for Yoruba. Yeah, we see a lovely pass coming up from Pulse. He was on the corner to his advantages, managing to get it past Javier. And obviously Kath dominating Angelo there. Leading the first goal of this series. Now, we have to admit that this game's been very ping pong light. Very Safari, being very much pressure on the Yorbu side. But as soon as Yorbu are putting on the pressure to Safari, even their defense are shocking. We nearly see Javier with a shot opportunity, but a double commit coming up from Safari here. Ancho and Carlos not being able to find the goal with two players on it. Kath now goes to the backboard. Double touch, maybe. He doesn't have the boost to finish. It falls into the hands of Pulse, but he finds the crossbar once again. Now, Ancho plays it onto the wall. Leading it to have a, unfortunately, this is it. Actually playing it back onto the other wall, trying to find something for his team, but none of his team are searching enough. Now we see Pulse in the boom. Angelo plays it off onto backboard as Angelo and Javier are double coming on that backboard once again. Carlos puts it across. And Angelo, Angelo with a lovely redirect for Pulse, strambling on that defense, getting the edge of what out pass straight back into Javier, who's going to find the shot, but can't get it in the net. Now Pathusa with another lovely save. Oh. Kath, unfortunately, back flip in there. Javier looks for the solo plane, goes for the reset, goes for a double reset, can't, he finds the double reset but can't find the goal, plays it off the crossbar once again, leading it for Carlos to play it back into mid. Well, Jude has been so close to getting two clips of the week so far, and we've had the double touch attempt, we've had the double flip reset, now we're going to get a dunk goal from Papusa to equalise, making it 2-2, and as you were saying earlier, yeah, it's a bit ping pong and um, bit ping pong rocket league and, and if each defense is put under enough pressure it, it it does crack but there there just wasn't any defense everyone was pushed up you know the third man committing to the challenge one dunk and it's a free goal for Yoruba so that that's definitely something Safari needs to be looking out for a demo coming in and it's gonna leave the goal open for Yoruba to score their third and um, they find themselves in the legion yeah, and so not able to get the ball there, but Pulse managing to brute force Kath from sealing his goal away. Now we're going to see 3-2 in the series here for Yoruba. 
Nice little comeback in the last two minutes of this game. Safari unable to find the back of the net for any goals and pressure they're putting on recently. But we are seeing Yoruba coming out and putting a lot more pressure on the second half of this game than they were in the first half, which may lead to more goals in the series than what we have been seeing. But now we see Poulsen to Pakusa. Tap not finding the shot opportunity. Kast unfortunately plays it back into Carlos, who puts it mid for his team. Ancho searching that mid ground, but Carlos yeah. nearly getting it in. But Poulsen a really nice save. Now Ancho plays it back into the corner. Plays it into mid-off back, ball. Carlos jumps for it, can't find the pass, pass it into Angelo, though Javier getting a weird touch into the corner, now plays it into mid from Carlos, but Papusa going to try and clear it, now can we see another play coming up, Papusa tries putting it into mid, saved by Angelo, Pulse now tries putting it back into mid by dominating that corner, Javier with an unfortunate side flip, leading it to Carlos for another save. And yeah, Papusa just trying to Keep the pressure going here. Pulse trying to find it round one. Calf with the pinch mid, trying to go for the bump, leaving the goal open, but can't find it. And the defense at the moment not cracking. Javier with a pinch, just hitting the crossbar. And that was a whisker away again. Another clip of the week attempt, but the pressure coming in is not going to be enough as Yoruba takes the first game. Um, and definitely for me, a surprise. I, I did not expect them taking the first game here, but they did um, They did take it in, you know, a solid fashion. So so fair play to them. Yeah, they definitely popped off in the second half of this game. Safari definitely came in with more momentum than Europe in the first half. Obviously, it's scoring two goals in the first two minutes. And Europe cleaning up their act in the last half of the game, scoring three goals. But we have to highlight the fact that Safari were so dominant in the first half, but something must have just fallen short, which led to the downfall and not managing to score a goal in the whole last three minutes of that game. How is Yorubu going to come into this game, take one game off the number two team playing number six himself? And how are they going to enter this game? Well, you mentioned two and six. It, it, it is a second versus sixth matchup, but it, it really doesn't feel like it at the moment. I mean, Yoruba, that, that sixth place team, and, and not only that, they're kind of cemented sixth. Even if they get a sweep here today, they're only going to move up potentially, you know, one, one two positions. Um, so a kind of cemented sixth team here, uh, taking the first game off Safari, obviously the top two um, in the conference, but it, it, it didn't look too um, kind of confident a win for them. But but maybe I'm kind of eating my words as they go up in the first game again. In the second game, half scoring the first goal for Yoruba, and again they find themselves in the lead. Yeah, it's another fail in Safari's rotation. There is and not having anyone third man. All pushed up as a first man. It's how we did see them lose the last game there. We did see a lovely pass coming out from Pat forwards to Kaf, managing to get the goal. But now Javier trying to put it into mid for Angelo. And now we see Pulse with a massive bang once again. Now Carlos finally finding the save on the backboard. Now Kaf goes for another shot opportunity, but Carlos saving it once again. Tries taking out the wall. Pat denies that entry there. Now we see Angelo trying to look into mid, but unfortunately misses. Now Pulse is going to annihilate Javier there. Tries putting it into mid, looks for the double tap even, can't find it, pops it into mid for his team. Now Kaf with another shot opportunity and managed to find it in the back of their net. Well, only one minute up, uh, only one minute goal gone and two goals up already, Ginge. Uh, Yoruba really coming in fighting to this one. Uh, it did look like Safari um, was coming in fighting the last game, but Yoruba's kind of reverse roll. Ro reversed roles with them here and just putting so much pressure on it as another one from Papusa gonna find the top corner they go three up in a minute and, and they really are looking dominant right now yeah I have to highlight the fact that Kath and Papusa have a lot of synergy going into this match it feels like the last two goals have been Pap and Kath passing into each other which leads me to feel that they are the stronger duo in this matchup but Kath can find the goal but nearly falls into Pulse's hands Unfortunately, Pap trying to cram that into the net, but no shots are going in from the Eurobus side now. Pap tries looking it into mid, he throws for an aerial into it, can't find the double touch there, gets saved by Javier Carlos now, trying to play it onto the corner. Goes on the ceiling, unfortunately backflips, leaves it for Kaf to boom onto the side wall on zero boost. Angela manages to find it, but pick it a pulse into mid. Now this is a triple commit coming off from the Eurobus side, as they have, and it's going to leave Javier with an open net, hopefully he doesn't miss it here, but... 
very interesting triple commit there. Yeah, Yoruba just wanted desperately to get that fourth one on the board, but they're gonna commit too much force to that that idea of the fourth goal, and they they're gonna give one away. One coming in for Safari here, and it looks like a different team to the first game. Safari looked very strong. Um, and they haven't really showed up this game so far, but Angelo trying to find it mid. Uh, this is going to be in the hands of Carlos, who fumbles it a little bit, gives it away to the other team, and that's going to be the first, fourth goal for Yoruba Jinj. What went wrong? You know, we just see Carlos there and actually pass it into Calf there, and obviously Pap managing to bump Carlos, who can't save his own pass, but nice little two synergy coming out from Carlos and Calf there, but unfortunately falls the into Safari. Oh, making full one in this game, but very dominant side coming up from Yorubi this game. A definitely stronger side than we did see in the first game, in my opinion. But now we d we can't really see Safari break through their own half here as the pressure coming up from Yorubi is absolutely dominated by all oh, the shot coming out from here. And now we see Pulse trying to go for the corner. He can fall it and Pulse into the mid line. Falls into Papusa, who then finds the shot opportunity 5 1 in this game. Could they be setting up the Brazil? It does look like it, Ginge. Five goals now on the board, and Safari really looks like they've been kind of torn apart. They can't even leave their box, let alone their half, and, and they really are kind of putting on an underwhelming performance, at least in this game. Um, and yeah, they, they look like a different team. They're panicking on defense. They're kind of passing balls away to the other team. They're overcoming on offense as well. And they're just giving so many goals away, but Carlos, Again, trying to find Angelo, who goes for the fake, it's not going to work for Pusa. A bit of a mistouch here, Carlos going to get a touch here, but back into the Yoruba side, it's going to get beaten out by Javier. Pulse trying to find a clear, but Javier midding this for a teammate, Angelo cannot find the touch he needs. And Carlos again, putting the pressure on Angelo, trying to find a shot, but can't quite pinch in this one mid, but again, it's going to get blocked, Javier. Midding this one past one defender, but look at Carlos there, he's second man in that situation, Jin. And he's just sitting on the halfway line, kind of waiting for the ball to come to him. Maybe that's something that's, you know, hurting their offense. Yeah, it could be hurting their offense again, but maybe that's the reason as we are seeing them fumble in the defense as Papusa nearly manages to dunk it in. But as you did highlight second man sitting on to the midline, maybe there's not enough trust as there is a new signing from Javier and Javier with another goal for Safari side, denying Yorubu of that Brazil. Beautiful pass there coming up from Ancho. Was it a failed shot? Was it a pass? We'll never know. We will never know, but one thing we will know is that Javier will score that every day of the week and he puts himself on two this game and Safari hoping, hoping, praying he can find the hat trick to potentially bring this one back. Pulse. Getting a clear to nobody. Angelo hitting it into Javier. Javier trying to find the shot, but again, it's blocked going mid to Pulse. But Pulse taking his time here, taking it to the wall. And a shot coming in from Carlos, but again, Kaf just knocking one, that one out the way. And all Yoruba really needs to do right now is just play defense, lock down their goal, make sure nothing goes past. And um, they will be taking this game number two, Jim. Yeah, game number two indeed as we do see Kef hyped out onto the corner now Javier with a shot onto the middle line as no second man is there maybe they are leaving on that midline once again but Javier with a shot opportunity pass into Carlos Carlos now finding the backboard into Javier can't find the shot now we see Pulse going up the wall on little to nil boost and falls in the hands of Kef Pat with a beautiful demo on Carlos but Kef can't find that goal opportunity there Carlos on 12 boost, looks for the aerial, gets absolutely dominated by Pulse, might even go in. Banchel with another clear, Pulse tries to get the touch all the way back. Pat passes it into Pat. Now we see Kath on the backboard with that defense holding up once again for the Yorubu side. And Safari having kind of one last chance to get a goal in, but again, no second man there to follow up that touch. The ball's going to end up back in the safari half as another one rattles off the post and Jinj, this game really is keeping me on the edge of my seat. I thought that that last one was going to go in. Yeah, I really did hope. And that's your prediction out of the bin. Safari currently losing 2-0 to Yoruba here in this series. 
So can Safari claw this back? Can they bring this draw into this game? Is this possible here from Safari's side? That is the question. Well, that is the question. And I think it is possible that they're playing very well. Um, definitely better than kind of sixth place team here. Um, and it's quite interesting because their results, they, they really don't pr give much hope um, for Yoruba. I mean, they lost a prominence concerto uh, with two draws to um, <clears throat> seventh and ninth place. So their previous results really have not been the best, but coming into this one, they, they definitely just look like, you know, the dominant team. Everything's working out for them. Um, and yeah, I, I had a little bit of, look, uh, of a look at their goal difference and their goal difference was only on minus one, which to me kind of screamed that they were a defensive team, um, only really scoring on the counters, just locking down their defense. Um, but Ginger, that's, that's really not what we've seen today especially in that last game, just absolute domination from them, locking Safari into uh, into their half, into their box pretty much, and just putting all the pressure on uh, with five goals to show for it. Yeah, you have to ask the question, was the cutting of Vax and signing of Javier the right decision for Safari's side, as they are feel feeling like the less dominant team, the weaker link as this game continues? As we do see Pulse try to split into back. Now Javier tries lurking into mid. Angelo goes to the shot opportunity. Can find the shot. Now trying to put it back into mid, but Kaf's gonna deny him entry once again. Now Carlos onto backboard. No one's there to mid it. Now we see Papusa managing to play it back into the hands of Angelo. Kaf a lovely bump. Pulse down into Kaf, but Kaf does not turn to receive that ball. Javier with an unfortunate miss, trying to go for that redirect, trying to go for that clip of the week once again as we all see him continuing. Pulse with a lovely demo to Carlos. Angelo can't find the goal. He tries going for another redirect. Javier with a 50. Coming out from Pulse now. Pussy back into Safari's side. But this this game, let alone no goal scored in the first minute. Safari definitely have broken their seal and managing to put a lot more offense on what they were last game. Yeah, this is very, very good for Safari as they're going to find the first goal. Carlos, a name we haven't seen too much of. Finding the first goal here, taking it round two defenders into um, a pretty weakly defended net there. And they are going to go up, which is definitely what they needed uh, uh, because of that last game. The, the domination Yoruba kind of showed and, and what the pressure they put um, Safari on. They did definitely want to take the first goal and, and kind of push um, Yoruba, uh, push some pressure on them. Carlos going to take it all the way himself and what a performance from him yeah what a performance indeed as we see Carlos with a lovely demo manager getting into the back of the net there but we can find the defense crumbling from Yorubu They're definitely searching for the saves but we can't fall enough now we see eight eight points coming out from Pulse here and 18 from Kaf no shots coming out well and two shots coming out from Carlos now Safari definitely broken the seal, trying to put that more offense onto the Orbe side, which they're definitely managing to do here. But can they continue this offense, or is this going to be a time lapse of game number one? Yeah, but something we have to mention a little bit of a streamer disconnect there. The score on the stream is slightly incorrect. It is 2 0 to Safari. And um, Carlos really showing up huge here, but not right there as he. he can't quite find the touch and he's going to give a, a goal away to Yoruba. They are going to take their first of this game, popping it round him and into a nice open net for the 2-1. And um, yeah, I, I do have to mention, you know, Carlos was a player I picked out kind of in the pre-tour exchange as a really, really a dominant player, you know, on his 24 goals, his 45 saves. But Javier scoring another one, maybe... Uh, speaking earlier about, uh, you know, having this roster change of adding Javier to the squad. Maybe that's a little bit of a disruption for him. Too many strong players on the team kind of throwing the balance off. Um, not giving everyone, you know, the time they need on the ball. Maybe that's something that's kind of hurting them in this series, Jim. Yeah, it could definitely be hurting them. But we have to admit that in this game especially, they have found themselves and are playing much more of a team 
and are definitely breaking the seal of the offense on the other half we need to see cast with another shot opportunity but played by Javier but as we were saying earlier maybe this roster change was a bad decision maybe it was a good decision but in this game especially it looks like it's a stronger decision than maybe Vax could have held up but uh, for the last two games as we see Paul specking in the back of the net the last two games definitely were not a good show from the Safari side not at all after getting dominated in the last game unfortunate giving a little bit of a freebie away there uh, making it a one goal game but kind of what my point really was was you know you have Anschlo, Carlos and Javier three strong players but it's not going to be enough as Kaf finds the back of the net equalizing the sit of the game for Yoruba three all and Safari have to be a little bit worried now definitely have to be worried as it's three all in this game but we have to I'm going to highlight the fact that Kaf, the striker and finisher of the Yorubi side this series, managing to come in with most and the majority of the goals coming from the Yorubi side, have been put onto target here. But especially in this game, coming into clutch up to make it 3 3 as we see pressure coming out once again from Safari's side, but gets cleared out. But Sakharov manages to find the save, but Pusa not managing to get to mid. Javier now trying to play it out on zero boost. Kaf is there, tries to play his possession, managed to take it over into Pulse's half, looking for the pinch, full shot, but actually bumps Kabusa out of the way there. Not something you want to see in a 3-3 situation. Not at all as the pressure coming in, Papusa gonna fake one out, taking it high, but just a little bit too high. That was definitely kind of a contender for clip of the week. If that one could go in a pinch, coming from the Safari side, it's gonna hit the corner, but Papusa. Dealing with this one quite nicely, trying to fake out Angelo, but Angelo finding a touch. Kath now getting this one up to Javier. Javier into, into the team, but again, it's going to get cleared. Papusa hitting this round. The last defender, Kath, with a little bit of a fumble, can't find the back of the net, and it's going to stay 3 3. Yeah, staying 3 3 as well. But nearly 4 3 for Safari side, but Angelo can't find the back of the net. A pinch coming out from Kath and Papusa there. Now we see Pulse. Lurking in that midline, but just full short. Papusa with another bang. Definitely another game of ping pong in this last 30 seconds. We see a pinch coming out from Pulse. Managing to make it 4-3 in this series. Safari are not going to be pleased with this, uh, this result. My biggest uh, kind of worry now is just how is Safari going to tilt? Uh, they're kind of sitting in second, coming into this uh, series with high hopes and... They're now potentially going three games down, 40 seconds left for the comeback, but only uh, and only a one goal lead. But what really happened to the, the defense there? There wasn't anyone there and Pulse just kind of rotating away. It definitely could have been a, a fifth goal for Yoruba, but it's not going to be Javier with a little bit of a touch on target. But that one's going to get cleared away quite easily. Carlos now hitting this one over, going potentially for the bump, but can't find anyone from the Yoruba side and it's not looking promising at all for Safari as Javier taking it up in the air his last chance for the score Anschlo trying to throw it on target but it's gonna drop Yoruba gonna take game number three and they're gonna win game number three putting them three up in the series yeah three one in this series here tonight four three now this game definitely reminded me of game number one, Safari coming out more dominant in the first half, but you'll be finding their stepping stone throughout the game, absolutely dominating Safari in the last 30 seconds there, as we do see Pulse managing to find his hat-trick coming out here tonight, with Javier managing to be top scorer with that new player. But what else is this game number four going to condemn? Are we going to see Safari tilt once more, make a sweep for Yoruba on stream here, or is it going to be a 3-1? Well, I, I would, I would have to say it'd be a three-one, but just what we've seen so far, Safari really hasn't showed up, and we have to talk about this new player coming in, Javier. Um, you know, these three players on Safari, I, I rate quite highly. You know, obviously Carlos being the carry so far, uh, twenty-four games, twenty-four goals, forty-five saves, just the all-round carry player for Safari, Anschlo. You know, a name known in RFC. What a strong player he is. Um, and Javier coming in today, 
you know, he, he is a very strong player, but it just hasn't really worked so far. Maybe, you know, you have too many strong players on the safari side fighting for the ball, fighting for possession, fighting for these goals. Um, and it's just not really working out. They don't have that kind of player back. They don't have the player mid and, and it's, it's not really working for them. As a, again, they find themselves on the back foot here. Almost an open net, but no one from Yoruba pressuring uh, for the goal. Javier getting a 50, no boost to work with here. And Kath gonna get the ball for free, getting a touch round Carlos into pulse. The shot is on target. It's gonna be saved quite easily. Angelo now going for a little bit of a solo play, but it's not gonna find its way into the back of the net. And again, another open net left for Yoruba Papusa with the steal on the goal line of what is going wrong for Safari. Definitely panic stations have initiated here tonight. They are not wanting to be sweep take coming from out from Yorubu, but we have to <laughs> mention the lovely assist coming up from Pulse. But obviously, who's lurking in that corner for that goal steal. And now we see Kath with another shot opportunity, but saved by Carlos, but Carlos passing it straight back into Papusa. Wow, this is uh, not a start you want to be if you're on the safari side. This is diabolical, as my friend Danny Boy would say. Disaster uh, for safari. You know, high hopes coming into this one and two goals down already. Kath looking for the third. Little bit of a mechanical misplay. Going to deny them the chance, but that was a whisker away. From being the third goal in the series. Carlos dropping this down to Javier. Javier getting faked out. Kath with a bit of a mistouch. But he gets the bump. Trying to find it round and he does. But the, the shot is not going to come in. And all the pressure is coming in from Yoruba. A shot coming in from Papusa. And it's going to be the third goal for Yoruba. And, and what are we seeing? I, I have massive, massive hopes for Safari with these three players. You know, solid players, they've all proved themselves. They've all had kind of insane track records um, in the RSC. But today, none of them have really showed up. They, they've been locked in their half. They haven't been finding the shots they need. And they find themselves three goals down. Um, only a minute 20 in. And a fourth one rattling off the crossbar. And they, they really can't seem to get the ball out of their box right now, Jim. Yeah, definitely can't get it out. But as you do say that they managed to get it out, try and find the shot opportunity if you see Kath trying to read it off the corner. But now we see Javier booming it off onto the other wall. Kath now looks to put it onto backboard. Papusa with a redirect. Papusa oh managed to God, put it Papusa. into the back of the net there. What a lovely pass from Kath into Papusa. What a redirect coming out from Yorubu. Safari's mental is definitely going to be down the drain after getting absolutely dominated by Papusa on that shot. Papusa, I think the phrase is uh, stop it, they're already dead, but he just carries on. What a redirect. Potential goal of the week right there. Insane stuff from him. And Javier, kind of stationary at the moment. He is back. A little bit of a controller disconnect. And that is going to go over two of the Aruba players. A bit of a miss flick there. Kath taking it down into Carlos. Carlos going to mid this but that's straight to pulse and pulse looking to take this all the way a 50 from angelo gonna deny him the chance to um, a bit of a mistouch a booming clear coming from angelo javier with a touch onto the backboard and it's almost an own goal javier can't find the goal but carlos can and what a fumble of a goal from safari there they do find the net but a whiff from javier into carlos that definitely could have been cleaner and they, they have got three more goals to find you. Yeah, as we do see Pulse there with a, a touch into his own net, but luckily managed to find it back out, but falls in down to Carlos. But now we see Antro on the attack, gets the reset. Can he do anything with it? No, he can't. Puts it into mid. Carlos with another shot opportunity now. Papusa going to shut that one down. Pulse with another bang. Kath goes up for this. Can he find a shot? Yes, he can. Onto crossbar, but Javier almost trying to leave it for Carlos, but Carlos just choosing to miss the ball and go for boost there. Definitely panic stations for the safari side as we see Pulse with another shot opportunity, but hits the crossbar down there. And now we see Carlos with another boom onto the corner, into Kath on to the corner. And now Javier misses the ball. Angelo misses the ball, doing some panic flips. Carlos committing as a third man, but Angelo managed to find himself the way back to save that 
five shots from Yorubu. But can we see another one coming out from Yorubu? No, he can. Now, Javier looks for the shot opportunity. Open that. Kath can't reach that one. Can Safari claw this two goals back? It appears Boopy is still on mute. Is he back? Well, 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 I, I was accidentally muted. But yeah, as you were saying there, Jinch, you know, two goals left to find. Um, two goals have been found. And Javier looking strong here, trying to take it round the last guy. He is going to with a fake and a flick round the last defender. Done in about 15 seconds and 1 minute 25 left for the comeback. Could that be a clip of the week contender as we see Javier with a beautiful dribble? Maybe two clip of the week contenders in this game, let alone this series. Now, can they claw one goal back in this game to make it 4 all to tie up this series? And now we see a pinch coming out. Now, Ancho misses the ball off the corner, leaves Javier in a weird situation. Javier plays it into the corner. Now, Kaf tries playing it down, Carlos into the wall. Zero boost, massive pinch coming up from Pulse into Kaf, but Kaf can't find the touch to put it in. Now he's a booster trying to find the touch. Javier now can also find the touch. Definitely panic stations from both as they are trying to increase their lead by one on both sides here. And Anschlo with a little bit of a double backflip, almost giving a goal away, but Yoruba not going to find it. Anschlo. With a touch down to Carlos. Carlos can't find the shot again. It is wide. Kath can't find the touch he needs. Two players from Safari up here. Again, pass is not going to be received. Pulse going for a 50. Straight into Kath. Kath finding the top corner, but and getting it round. Anschlo dropping it down to Javier, but Pagusa is there. Carlos hitting the corner. A little bit of a whiff, but Carlos can't find the touch. And all they need is one goal. Can they find it? Can they find it? Indeed, Angelo to Javier, Javier trying to look for that double tap, falls short. Is this going to be a sweep from position number six on a number two team here tonight? I think it is, as that is 4-0 for Yorubu. Angelo instantly leaves that match, does not want to be related to that match at all. What an amazing show coming out here from the Yorubu side. In a sweep on number two, Safari. What a show they have put on for us tonight here. Absolutely complete domination from them and, and definitely not what I expected. And, you know, now we come down to who we're going to interview. And I think if we take a little look at the scoreboard, it's kind of obvious here. Papusa with four goals, with the insane redirect. Um, I think we should get him in for an interview. What do you think, Ginch? I completely agree with that statement. You do. You do agree. And he is here. He is in the booth. Already and Papusa, Evening. what a game from you! What what complete domination! And um, how did you find that series? Uh, to be honest, I just told the boys, you know, relax. Um, it's his second place. If we score a few goals, then great, good job. We've uh, we've, we've won the series. But in all honesty, the boys just put absolute work in. Mine and Cass chemistry tonight is just on point. Um, I, I don't really know what else to be saying, to be honest, as you can tell, I'm not very well. <laughs> Damn, well, um, yeah, I mean, one thing I have to mention is that redirect, insane stuff, you know, kind of stopped their already dead moment, already 3-0 up, getting the redirect for the fourth um, goal. Uh, what were you thinking when you scored that goal? Light work. This is just free play, right? <laughs> <laughs> No, um, I was going out of my mind. Um, there may have been some <laughs> high-pitched voice-breaking screams in the in the VC. Um, I, I just jumped. I didn't expect to hit it. And uh, yeah, I would say it was one of my luckiest redirects. <laughs> well, you, you do have to go for it to hit it. Potential, you know, clip of the week there. Maybe we will see that on the RS cast um, on Monday. Ginge, do you have any questions for Papusa? I do, yes. See, how do you feel coming off that 4-0 from Yorubu? Not Yorubu, you are Yorubu. Coming off <laughs> from Safari there tonight. You know, how is this going to change the roster? And how do you feel going into your next maxage? Um, yeah, I've, I'd, I think that we actually have a winning team here. Um, you know, as we've proven tonight, 
sixth place doesn't mean anything. Um, first place, Archeon, we're, we're coming for you. Fired. Shots fired here tonight. Damn, look at the, the fighting talk here. Looking for the number one spot. Going to take Toxin down. Um, second place, uh, a, a sweep against second place, I guess, is not good enough. Well, um, yeah, I think that is all we have time for. And that's all of the games um, we have on schedule today. Obviously, starting out in major and a couple of games in minor. Um, yeah, what an amazing stream. Um, Jin, do you have any final kind of words for the stream before we kind of wrap it up? I think the only thing we can say here tonight is an absolute show put on from Yorubu. And uh, I think this is the end for, of the stream for tonight. And um, Well, I have, I have a Senji whispering in my ears, um, telling me I do have to mention our sponsor. So thank you for, thank you to... A kind of lunar org um, for sponsoring the stream. Um, thank you for all the teams and the casters and all, and obviously Senji himself um, for the stream today. It's been a great one um, and it's all we really have time for. So do make sure you come back to the RSC for another stream, which will be on let me just Saturday. Check my... It will be on okay. Saturday. You already know on Saturday, starting off with Ginge again. For the first game so you'll be seeing Jin. you won't be seeing myself but um yeah that is all we have time for and see you next time to the fire but it's no use because you can't stop it from shining through it's true baby let the light shine through if you believe it's true baby won't you let the light